And now for uh, an, a special personal pleasure, I announce 60 Minutes, Killings at Haditha. It's a thorough investigation of the terrible choices presented to soldiers and civilians in the Iraq War, and it receives a Peabody. Five Iraqi men ranging in age from 19 to 29 were ordered uh, out. To him. So my immediate thought is, okay, maybe this is a car bomb. Okay, maybe these guys had something to do with this IED. Wooderich says Sergeant Senek de la Cruz, also charged with murder, yelled at the men to drop to the ground. Normally, uh, the Iraqis know the drill when you're over there. They know if something happens, they need to, they know exactly what they need to do. Get down, hands up. And, and completely cooperate. These, got, uh, these individuals were doing none of that. They got out of the car. As they were going around, they started to take off. So I, I shot at them. They were running away from you? Yes. You shot them in the back? Yes. Presenting, accepting the award, my 60 Minutes colleague, correspondent Scott Pelley. Hello, friends. Hello, George. You know, it's a humbling thing to share this stage with all of these fine, fine honorees, and a particularly humbling thing to share the stage with Bob Woodruff and Kimberly Dozier of CBS News. I often like to remind audiences that when they read or see or hear the news on a given day that somebody somewhere they will probably never hear of risk their lives to bring them the news on that day. The killings at Haditha was an attempt to understand the choices that our Marines and soldiers have to make on the ground. It was an effort to look at the killing of 24 civilians from the perspective of those who had been killed and also from the perspective of our young Marines, many inexperienced, who had been placed into a combat situation in a combat zone that none of them would have chosen, a residential neighborhood in Haditha, Iraq. You know, television reporters get credit for the work of others, and this is the case for me today. These are the people who deserve this award, this incomparable team from 60 Minutes. Sean Efron, Solly Granitstein, Catherine Herrick, Nicole Young, the tremendous editor Andy Soto. I also have to thank Patty Hassler, our senior producer, for all of her conjoling and guidance, and our executive producer, Jeff Fager, who is pushing 60 Minutes to new heights and allowing us to do this kind of work. And I am particularly honored, ladies and gentlemen, to be in the presence this afternoon of my lovely wife, Jane, who has been at the center of my life for 30 years. Thank you very much, sweetheart. Behind every successful man, there is a surprised woman. <laughs> On behalf of all of us at 60 Minutes, we are very grateful to the University of Georgia and to the committee. Thank you.